But Jonathan Harris, they're starting a defensive lineman, and Dakota Allen, the linebacker, they are inactive. Let's dive deeper into the injury report with Dr. Ralph Sabe. Injury Report is brought to you by Orthopedic Associates of Central Maryland. In pain, contact the experts at Orthopedic Associates of Central Maryland at mdbonedocs.com. Care this good feels good to the bone. Injury Report. Ralph, let's start right with the quarterback, Lamar Jackson. And he's been struggling recently, especially uh, throwing the football. He had a hip injury last week, and now it's a quad. Apparently left practice early Wednesday, underwent some treatment there. With a guy that's as mobile as Lamar, I mean, those can seriously hinder him. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it's interesting. You know, hip, quad, obviously, you know, um, could, be, could be similar injuries. A um, you know, little bit vague about, uh, you know, what actually may be going on. Um, it's been bothering him for a few weeks now. He's obviously clearly, clearly frustrated about it. Um, you know, obviously things like a quad, it can take a couple of weeks, you know, a few weeks uh, to kind of rehab that. Um, but, you know, it does question if something else may be going on that they're trying to rehab and maybe address in the offseason, like maybe a labral tear or something of his hip, uh, something that, you know, may be a little more problematic during the season, especially for someone as mobile, you know, as he is. And, and that's what I was going to say, in particular for the quad, when it's these type of soft tissue injuries, you aren't at a point in the season where you can just rest it, where you're, you're in a playoff run, those type of things, I'm assuming, won't get to 100% unless you're off of it for a while. That's true. I mean, they have a lo you know a lot of resources working with uh, you know therapists, trainers every day. But yeah, I mean, it, you know, having a true rest is more difficult. Although you know they can still usually maybe a couple weeks, two, three weeks get through that. I think it is interesting that it sort of changed from hip to quad. Uh, you know, which uh, does uh, make me wonder if something else is going on. You know? Last thing for you, Doc, uh, we're two years into COVID, and not that all of this is COVID, but there seems to be a, a bug going around the Ravens locker room. There's been at least a handful of guys missed practice over the last week. I, I guess what can the team do to help prevent that from spreading? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I think, you know, COVID, as we all know, is, is a part of our lives now. It's going to be an every year thing. And, uh, you know, even before COVID, you know, as it gets into these winter months, the flu is going up. COVID numbers, uh, you know, are, have gone up uh, slightly. I don't think it's... Um, uh, as, uh, you know, threatening maybe as it was when it initially started, uh, but still something that, you know, causes people to miss games, you know, causes uh, illness. And, uh, you know, I think, unfortunately, moving forward, this is going to be a common thing every time it gets to this, you know, this point in the year. He's Dr. Ralph Zade, joins us every week. And, Doc, thanks so much as always. Thank you, guys. You got it. We are an hour, 20 minutes away from kickoff. Ravens, Broncos, week 13 in the NFL. Coming up next, Vinny Serrato is going to rejoin the program as well as Mike Preston. We're going to clear.